yo what's going on everybody and welcome back to monsoon motorsports today we are playing motorsport manager once again and we are back to the grind and today we are going to jump into our race our second race weekend and hopefully we will end up performing much 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 better than we did last outing um but before we dive into the video i do want to say thank you guys all for your love and support um and thank y'all just for like any and all feedback is very much appreciated i went back and i was editing like the first couple of parts um because i sat down to record like parts one through four all at once and i realized that there were some things that i kind of messed up so i hope that y'all can be a little bit patient with me um as you can see we're doing something a little bit different we are using like face cam and i'm actually on my pc recording so things are a little bit different i'm still getting familiar with everything um and it's just now that i'm learning that i can actually record separate audio tracks for the gameplay and the voice um the voiceover so everything should be hopefully synced up i think that was one of the issues in like the third or fourth part the like my face cam was out of sync from the actual audio so there's certain things that i'm still working on i'm still learning but hey that just goes in perfect alignment with monsoon motorsport and what it is that we're doing through this series where we got a lot to learn we're starting literally from the ground up and the same goes as far as the youtube videos in the youtube channel but if you are enjoying what you are seeing make sure you like comment subscribe share do whatever it is that you got to do to show your appreciation because as you show your appreciation it is very much appreciated by me so i think that we left off at a point where we just wrapped up everything before the race weekend and we are actually getting ready to go to round two of nine for our first season um as the um manager of monsoon motorsport and so once again we're gonna go with our big doe um sponsor select unfortunately in monza our best finish was 15th and then our second driver finished I believe it was 17th so we didn't get that additional $150,000 um but we're gonna go with it again just because one we have to select one and two that is the most realistic as far as part fitting goes we'll go ahead and take a look at everything um if you guys didn't watch part four I think part four was pretty short um considering it was like uh just like a race weekend preparation video um but we ended up making some significant driver liner driver lineup changes we ended up signing Sophia um and so she's gonna be um our unofficial driver one but don't tell our drivers that we said that um because she is a better driver than Marvin even though in their contract they're both set to equal status so one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that we give Sophia the better car in my opinion we want to give our best driver the best car and because of that, we want to make sure we maximize every point and every opportunity that we can to score points. Um, because Sophia ended up coming in after race one, unfortunately, she's starting off at zero points. And this was our driver, um, Tori, or Torio, I believe we called him. Um, we ended up letting him go. I just did not feel like he had the race pace as well as the race awareness that was going to be needed. Um, and which could end up being a very, very tight uh, championship. Um, but we're more so focused on the constructors, at least to start off. Our goal is to finish eighth. I believe that our closest rivals are going to be Dragon Racing Team and then ZRT Autosport. And then me personally, because we are an American based team, I kind of want to outperform ZRT regardless of whether, in, whether we are in F3, F2 or F1 not only do we want to be the best team but we also want to make sure we're the best american team just so we can have a little bit extra pride in saying hey we did our thing you know so it looks like as far as the race weekend goes practice is going to be cloudy and there's a possibility of rain during the race which in my opinion might actually end up helping us out because it'll give us an opportunity to possibly like capitalize on the condition changes and hopefully that'll help with our race strategy um we are significantly off the pace and because we are significantly off the pace any opportunity that we have to 
gain places or to um you know score additional points we're gonna take it um unfortunately it looks like marvin's upset because yes sophia does have the better car um but hey <laughs> there's only so much that he can do about that so welcome to race weekend number two it is a month after our last race and we are in our one and only practice session it looks like it is already raining which uh that's not bad um it looks like the conditions might end up clearing up after about three minutes which kind of will help out but even off the jump we can already notice that our driver lineup is significantly better we have feedback of 11 from sophia which is very good um for the time being and hey we're gonna take every bit of feedback that we can because setting up our car is going to make sure that we have a good and fingers crossed very successful race weekend all right so moving into our um car setups um we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with 16.8 on the front wing we're going to end up going to 26.8 on the rear wing um and then we're going to do 20.4 negative 2.8 and then we are going to do 31 and 50. um the track well actually no we are not going to do this just solely based off of sophia's um just based off of sophia's what she wants out of the car we're actually gonna have to wing this um i was looking at not gonna lie i was looking at some references that i had um and i think i may have been looking at the wrong thing to be honest but hey this is just part of the learning process you know and at the end of the day we got to do what we got to do and make it work um so we'll kind of do high downforce this kind of looks like a high downforce track um not too many long straights so i would think that my drivers would prefer higher downforce especially if it's raining um and there's a possibility of rain in the weekend or on sunday for the race um but we'll come down here to acceleration i would think that we would want to focus on acceleration but it's up to what our drivers want we'll end up pulling them in once the track starts to dry out but yeah let's go ahead and jump into practice so this will be interesting to see where sophia ends up coming out on the track because or like her um pace because this is her first practice session her first race weekend as a monsoon motorsport driver so that'll be interesting to see hopefully she has pace and i mean it looks like already my two drivers are competing out of the pit lane which is not a bad thing i mean I prefer if my drivers didn't <laughs> compete with each other and they would actually work with each other but hey they're equal on status as far as our contracts go so we're just gonna let them race Now, I want to say something since it is raining. Look, there is something so special about listening to like good praise and worship music. And like the last couple of days I've been listening to, I think it's the Jesus is Born album by the Sunday Service Choir. And let me tell you, some of the songs on there, man, they just hit different. But I, I, I mentioned that because one of the songs on the album is Rain and man. I mean, I know it's raining in here. I know it's kind of a stretch, but I just wanted to say that song, Rain. I would play a snippet of it, but um, I'd prefer not to deal with any copyright issues, but that song be hitting different. I would highly, highly, highly suggest not just checking out that song, but also the album as a whole, because that joint is something special, man. Something, something special. Um, but right now, it looks like we're getting our first couple of laps in. Um, the track is dried up, so I should have pulled my drivers in. Um, but we'll bring them in once we get the chance. Now, 
now even though they're coming in on this lap i'm actually kind of worried because our race strategy something okay that's not good but something that i realized from our last race is that we are not in the position to be using the softest softest compound of tire because because our car is so slow we need to be using the hardest compound of tire and trying to make sure that we're like maximizing our um maximizing our race strategy by pitting as little as possible because the less pit stops we have to make the better off we'll end up being but for right now we gotta we're gonna focus on the hardest compound of tire and trying to make sure that that's where our focus lies for the race weekend okay so based on the feedback that sophia is giving us it looks like she kind of wants higher downforce and higher top speed um so we'll see if this is better suited for her car like i said we're gonna focus on the harder compound of tires for the race um i think it said it was 32 lap race um but yeah this is what we're gonna focus on because i mean sophia she has higher smoothness so she'll be able to make the like get more out of the tires but I just don't think that we have i don't think our car is at the point right now where we should be on the super soft tires like that's that's negative <laughs> i just i just don't have a good feeling about being on the super soft tires because if we do want to push like we're just gonna burn through those tires and it's gonna mess with our race strategy i think for right now we should be as conservative as possible and really just try and focus on like hey try and make as many as little pit stops as we have to um because of the refueling regulations we do have to make a minimum of two pit stops but if we can make two pit stops and other teams are making three four or five pit stops then that saves us time ultimately we'll end up gaining places all right so this is the setup we're gonna go with for marvin and then we're gonna send them out and unfortunately like their intermediate tires were not able to get to level one are you serious dog oh my goodness if i would have been paying attention look this is something that, like i said we're going to be learning a lot it's oh man I'm going to be honest with you. It's so much different being on the pit wall versus like being in the driver's seat. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of decisions that you have to make and a lot of different factors that you have to pay attention to. So, yeah, it's just a transition from, you know, being a former driver into now being in a managerial position. Um, but it looks like Marvin, he wants his handling to go the other way. Um, we'll put that on the edge. Put that, um, go like this, go like that. And then see if that will get us any better. Ideally, our balance will be, um, our balance will be at least 95%. And then this is going to be what we end up going for Sophia. Now, one of the reasons that I sent out both of my drivers on already used tires is because honestly, even though we have i forget it was like 36 it was some crazy number it was like 36 total of dry compound tires throughout the race weekend honestly we need to save our intermediate tires and our wet tires for the actual race now it's going into full wet um we already have level one on the inters i doubt we'll get level two on the race trim so i'm gonna pull both of my drivers in like, I, I kind of want to focus on setups this time since 
we didn't have the best of setups last race weekend but we got three purples here which is actually really really good and we're at 98 percent we love to see it absolutely love to see it and then we'll send her back out on the wet tires and just hopefully get um level two race trim but i doubt it and then it looks like marvin came back in with a 96 above 95 we got two um two purples um but i feel like we could do a little bit better um so we'll probably just tweak his tweak it that way send him out call him back in um because ideally we get closer to that 98 99 percent um but we will see and so this if it's raining like this during the race i'm actually really 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 hoping that it's raining like this during the race obviously our drivers are gonna have to be extremely careful in these conditions but it might end up being to our benefit because i think that as long as i'm paying attention <laughs> to the weather we'll be able to um take a look at everything and plan accordingly to when we want to have our pit stops because if we time everything correctly we'll make a lot of time um going from either dry compound to enters enters the wet or any other um combination like that but we'll just leave them out um maybe we'll get race two trim or level two race trim um and that'll help out significantly our race day All right, so it unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get level two race trim. I think that if I didn't call my drivers in one too many times, then we would have actually got it. But that's a good sign because I think we were a lot closer to getting level two race trim than we were our first race weekend. Um, and I will kind of chalk that up to Sophia. Um, but yeah, man, we still got a lot of work to do. I mean, we're still getting comments like this. Um, but I don't believe that our practice was an accurate representation of our pace. We were not, we were not about 1.1 1. 1 1 seconds off the race pace, but here we are race weekend. Our drivers are going to be starting really close to the grid. Um, Sophia is going to be starting in what would be pole position on the front row because she has zero points. Everybody else in the championship has already scored. A point um and then marvin is going to be starting in six so yeah 32 laps right now it doesn't look like it's going to end up raining but i still want to i still want to use the soft compound of tires but maybe it'll be beneficial for sophia if we do start off on the super softs and we go super soft 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 because we do need to make at least two pit stops i think if we bank on doing super soft 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 then we could have at least some flexibility in the third stint if she is able to um drag out our first stint on the super soft and then maybe the second stint on the soft compound tires that'll free up our third stint um it says she could take these red wall tires um 12 to 14 laps so we're gonna under fuel um by one lap we'll give her 12 laps of fuel I think to be honest, she'll more than likely go about nine or 10 laps on these red wall tires, but we still want to have a majority of fuel in the car. Hopefully we won't be too slow, but I mean, knowing us, we're slow already. Um, we're going to go to this, um, this car set up simply because it has two purples. They're both 96%. So not bad from Marvin for his car setup, but could be better now as far as marvin goes we're not putting him on those tires not at all not at all because even though that's the estimated 
I just don't see him going that long on those tires. In that first race, we saw him going like seven or eight laps on these tires. And if he goes eight laps on these tires, that would be four stops or at least four different stints. Um, not four stops. So we're going to put him on these yellow tires, at least for the first stint. We'll leave him all the way fueled up. Um, he's more than likely going to end up dropping like a absolute rock. But my hope is that one, by putting them on two different tire strategies, we won't have to really worry about um, pitting them on the same laps. Um, but two, I'm hoping that because Sophia is one of the better drivers, hopefully in the championship, even though she's in a absolutely paperweight of a race car, hopefully she'll be able to stay at the front of the grid. But yes, this is our starting grid. So we got Sophia on the front row. Um, main two teams we're looking at are ZRT and DRT or Dragon Racing Team. And it looks like we have a ZRT of Sergio in front of Marvin. And then we have Bao behind him as well. And then a couple of rows behind, we have Ren um, also from DRT. And then a couple of row behind that, we have Edward from ZRT. But aside from that, this is what the row um the starting grid is shaping up to be um it is reverse grid based on the championship standings so whoever is first in the standings will be last on the row or on the grid but yeah this is our championship lineup and it looks like let's see looks like for the most part everybody in this front is on the super soft compound tires and then once we get to about the middle of the grid, it starts to mix up between the softer compounded tires or the soft compounded tires. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into our second race. Starting front on the grid, new driver. Let's see what Sophia can do. And so it looks like it's a pretty good race start for her. She's holding it off into turn one. And Marvin goes from sixth up into fifth. So he has a pretty good race start. Um, I see up ahead in the distance. It looks like Sophia is starting to get bogged down, but we are holding it down for right now. Thankfully, they're not getting hawked. Um, maybe this track will be a little bit better suited for our car, but it does look like there is a little bit of competition um, behind us that is ever so looming. Um, and then I do want to continue to make sure I check the weather since there was a possibility of rain coming into this weekend. But it looks like we're defending into this last corner before the start finish straight. But yeah, Sophia is retaining that position. Marvin is still in or goes up from sixth to fifth. And that's looking like a pretty good start, if you ask me. So because Marvin's in a good position, I'm going to go ahead and change his driving style and his engine mode um i'm gonna change from attack to neutral and overtake to that because we're gonna end up dropping some we're gonna end up losing pace um and we already lost a position to an ozu motorsport who is i think one of the higher teams on the grid but we don't want to lose too many positions but we do want to make sure that we stay in front of like crt as well as dragon race team who looks like they have started to drop back and are actually kind of competing with each other. Um, but Sophia has dropped down into fourth. Um, so we got a little ways to go. I'm actually going to um, kind of tell her to slow up. We're going to actually conserve her tires a bit. We're going to end up losing that lead group. And yeah, that's the rest of the pack behind Marvin. Um, he's going to start dropping too, especially the cars on the red wall tires. Um, just considering that's the faster compounded tire for this weekend. But not too bad racing. It's looking like he's holding off a couple of cars. Obviously, it looks like this DRT had a better exit out of that corner. And they're going to start flying up. And we just had two cars go up the inside. So yeah sophia is still doing really really good even though she's conserving which 
we want to see that we really really want to see that but marvin is dropping like a boulder in water right now and just letting everybody get by So Marvin is still dropping back significantly. I actually need to start pushing Sophia because the rest of the grid is starting to catch up and there's nobody in front of her. She has clear air so she can push and get the most out of these red wall tires, especially considering everybody around her has a lot lower tire degradation. So she should be able to hold some of them off, even though we are not in the best car. But this is what I was talking about, having a good driver in a bad car. A good driver is going to be able to get the most out of a bad car and still be able to hold on to a position like this, where she started the race in first and she's still holding on to fourth. Whereas Marvin started in sixth, went up to fifth after one or two laps. And now he's in last, absolute dead last. So only so much we can do, but that's disappointing very very disappointing and to be honest if he continues to perform like that i have no problem sacking him and absolutely dropping him off of my team because to, to me this is unacceptable to have one teammate who is up in the fifth in almost equal level machinery and you're all the way back in 20th that to me is unacceptable because if I had another driver who in similar machinery could at least somewhat match Sophia, you know how many points we would be scoring. So it looks like some people's pit windows coming around. Um, it looks like Sophia is going to end up jumping up into third, which is really good. I mean, we still have to pit, but we're going to continue to burn this fuel. Um, our engine and our gearbox are in a really, really good position. Um, and I do believe that's thanks to our backing at Ford. So Ford, thank you. But yeah, <laughs> like Sophia, I mean, granted right now, her current form is 9.4 out of 10. So she is driving her butt off, but she is getting the most out of this car. And I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. And our car looks absolutely amazing going around the track right now and even though um it looks like um this zampelli was trying to go up the inside she's still holding them off zampelli zampelli has arguably the best car and the best drivers on the grid granted she just got passed but she was holding them off for a couple of corners like i don't know man sophia I had a feeling when we um, we initially signed her, but um, yeah, it looks like uh, I think this is Sergio. Yeah, one of the Sergios, he cut a corner um, and he did not get a penalty, but looks like Sophia is um, starting to notice a little bit of tire deg um, and these red wall tires, they go to about 15 percent. So we're going to conserve really quickly and then not this lap, um, but next lap. We're going to end up pushing and then we're going to end up bringing her in but one thing that we will also notice is look at her tire percentage 26 percent marvin is down to 29 percent and so i actually need to stop pushing him because i need him to follow or come in not this lap but the following lap because i prefer not to stack them double stack them um we don't want to lose time in the pit lane we, we cannot afford to lose time in the pit lane and we actually need to pit soon. I wish we could pull our tires out that far, but we can't. So we're going to have to pit and then it's, it looks like it's going to start raining. So because it's going to start raining.
Um, my bad, my keyboard was acting up. But because it's gonna start raining, we're gonna pit her on another set of red wall tires. Um, we're gonna fuel up to so we're on lap nine. It looks like we're probably gonna bring him in around lap sixteen. Um, so I'm gonna fuel her up to I'm gonna put ten laps of fuel in the car. Um even though I know that we don't necessarily have to, we're going to do balance and then pull her in Sergi or not Sergio Marvin is he's five seconds behind, but I think that's too close. These yellow wall tires are going to end up going to about 10%. So we're definitely going to be pulling him in on this lap and it looks like it's going to be a good pit stop from the guys over at monsoon motorsport and it looks like we come out right in front of this i believe that's a vexela which is very very nice we needed that very very much needed that and we're gonna push because one we gotta warm our tires up but two the rain is coming very very soon and so we want to maximize these tires right before the rain ends up coming and we have to pit one more time but because the rain is coming and we made it about 10 laps on these yellow walls for um marvin we're gonna pit him put him on a set of red wall tires um and then take him to the rain period i'm actually gonna end up putting eight laps of fuel in his car um hopefully he'll be a little bit quicker because his car won't be weighing as much go ahead let's go ahead and see how his pit stop fares He might come in front. Nah, everybody passed him in the pit lane, but he's kind of bunched up. We want him to uh, push. And then we have Sophia right up in the 12, which isn't too bad. Um, but we do got to make sure that once it starts raining, we pit them almost like spot on. Nobody will gain an advantage because everybody, I think, will at least have pit one time before the rain period. Yeah, so the race leader is currently pitting, um, but it looks like he's going to end up dropping back. But yeah, main thing right now, we're just going to continue to monitor this rain period, push on these tires, make sure we don't overheat them, um, make sure our engine and gearbox are going to be good, and hopefully continue to stay close to this group right here. Because if we stay close to that group and we pit at the right time, we will jump all of them with our race strategy. But yeah, this is part of us noticing like our car not being the best on the grid. But hey, we're still going to do what we can do and try to make the most out of it. But you see like this group ahead, it looks like all the way from is that seven to almost 13 or within a couple of seconds of each other. So really close racing. Um, but I think this race, there's a possibility that we end up punching higher than um, high, punching higher than what we normally would. And then you see us at the back <laughs> um but yeah so we got to stay within that group make sure our tire percentages are going to be good the rain is coming very very soon so we're gonna heavy 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 push and then it looks like right now it'll be inter tires but i do want to make sure that we are being mindful of when the rain ends up coming and sophia is putting in two green sectors this will probably be her personal best lap which will be really nice she's staying on the back of this Sampelli, which is a really good sign considering like i said earlier they have the best car but here comes the rain and it looks like it will just be enters which is pretty nice and then because it's raining the track temp 
might drop a bit so we can keep pushing that um brt in front of us is going to end up hitting too early we're going to wait until about where it says like e or r and that's when we're going to end up hitting our drivers so we'll gain time we'll more than likely end up passing that that dragon um as well as it looks like who came in behind them that zrt as well yeah they're more than likely going on the enters and it looks like somebody crashed see if we got a we ain't get a safety car but if we got a yellow or yeah if we got a safety car that would have been that would have been clutch but it is what it is we're still staying on the back of that group it looks like marvin is almost within fighting distance but hopefully we pit at the right time and we we really capitalize on that i'm actually gonna end up pitting marvin first and it looks like right now we're getting a message from Sophia saying that she wants to go on the enters. But the reason I'm going to pit Marvin first is because I think we can get a little bit more out of the enter or out of these tires. Like they're still losing a little bit of time. Um, if you watch the timing table and you compare the guys on enters to the guys on dries, they should be losing a little bit of time. But we're gonna pit him. I actually almost missed. It. <laughs> I actually almost missed that and make sure that it'll be on enters. Yeah. But even though we pit him now, we're gonna have to pit him at least one more time. So we're still gonna fill him all the way up um, because I'm not sure how long that rain period will end up lasting. But we're gonna have to pit at least one more time before the end of the race. And then on this lap, Sophia is going to literally give it everything that she has. And then at the end, we'll bring her in, fill her all the way up, put her on inter tires. We're good on park condition. And yeah, so go ahead and set that plan in motion um, and see if anybody else is coming in on this lap. So it looks like the race leader is coming in. Looks like this person from Firebird is coming in. Um, We'll have to wait to see if this Sampelli comes in, but it doesn't look like they will. Um, neither is Sergio of Ozu. Um, and it doesn't look like uh, Jean-Pierre Gerard is coming in either, which is kind of weird. Did he not pit? Bro, I was not expecting him. To not pit. I thought he was supposed to pit at the end of last lap. So we probably caught him in too late, which is my mistake. But hopefully our double stack doesn't negatively affect him. But it definitely will. And that's gonna screw up his race. Oh my goodness, bruh. I was trying to call him in last lap. I'm disappointed very very disappointed because now he's in last and if we go to the data center we will actually see how much time he lost by double stacking he lost almost 12 seconds But at least we have Sophia making a good move around the outside or past that DRT. Man, we'll gain a couple of positions from these people who are pitting, who are actually pitting late. All these three are going to end up losing time. The race leader is going to end up the actually the, uh, the two race leaders are going to end up losing time. Um, but hopefully Marvin can end up passing a couple people in the pit lane. Man, bro, I, dang, I really screwed up his race. These, these are the kind of mistakes 
that we really have to just embrace come to the realization that we're not making good pit decisions and just learn from it now while we're in formula three so when we progress up to formula two formula one and even just when we progress to be better within formula three we're not losing points like this because every point counts not just because of pride and trying to finish in a certain position but every point counts because where we finish in the championship determines how much money we get at the end of the year and so we can't afford these kind of mistakes man we really can't afford those kind of mistakes but hopefully he'll be able to make up some positions um it looks like towards the end of the race we'll end up transitioning back onto dry compound tires so hopefully we get the timing right and we just maximize but right now sophia is running a really really good race um we will still be 10th but because she's currently in eighth she'll score really good points and we'll we'll close up on zrt um just a little bit but we also have to bank on them not scoring many points this year either dang man i'm just really uh, uh i'm really disappointed that i messed his race up but hey we got to put that behind us we got to focus on the fact that we're still racing um we still got about 12 laps ahead of us But Sophia just lost the position, um, but that's fine. Jean-Pierre Girard, he was, he raced, he he won last race in Monza. We just got to make sure we pulled off um, tenth um, from that DRT. Um, I do not want them to finish in front of us, but they were trying to look, take a look up the inside, and it looks like they kind of compromised their um, exit. So. Hopefully Sophia can continue to hold them off. And it's actually looking like it's going a bit into wet tires, um, like conditions for wet tires, but it's going to dry up in a few minutes. Um, it'll still be raining, um, but it looks like we will actually be finishing the race on intermediate tires. So we could probably pit at any point. Um, and we could probably push on the tires. Um, yeah, so we could probably push on tires. Doesn't really matter. Um, the enters go a long ways. And because of that, I might actually end up pitting Marvin soon. Um, and then just letting him go to the end of the race. Because right now, Marvin is in no man's land. So. So. Like I said, I was thinking about pitting Marvin this lap. I'm actually going to push him like full push attack and overtake one more lap. Um, then I'll end up calling him into the pit lane, put him on a fresh set of intermediate tires, fill him up for enough, um, fill him up for enough fuel to the end of the race. Actually, I'm gonna wait. It looks like it's gonna start storming towards the end of the race. So the longer we can hold out, the better. 
and I could be kind of cheeky and put him on full wet tires and hopefully that'll be the right tire compound to end the race. So I just noticed that both one of the Dragon um, race team and the um, one of the drivers from CRT ended up hitting. So they're both coming out onto intermediate tires. Let's see how long, how far our tires go. We have five more laps on those tires. But we are going to have to pit again because of fuel. I think that everybody else is going to have to pit again because of fuel. So. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, 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 okay. So because we have a safety car, this actually saves us. The question is, what tire compound do we come out on? I think we come out on inters. I, w I want to go out on the full wets, but nah, we're going to take that risk. We're, yeah. Look, it's the second race. We have to score at every point that we can. And because it's the second race, we're going to go out onto full wet tires. Um, I want to look at the weather. Oh, here it is. Now, one of the reasons why I'm going on full wet tires is because the safety car is going to be out for probably two laps. By the time the safety car comes back in, it's probably going to be storming. And hopefully the amount of water on track will warrant full wet tires. But look, man, it's early on in the season. We have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, so because of that, hey. You know, we're going to go for it. So we're going to go onto the full wet tires. We're going to fill up to seven laps because I think that's how many laps of fuel that we need. Um, but yeah, we're going to pit both of them. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it ends up paying off. This is a gamble that I don't think that other teams are going to make because other teams are pitting under the safety car, which logically makes sense. You want to pit under the safety car. You want to end up saving time, but it's not about like we're going to be in safety car queue and because we're going to be in safety car queue for another lap, it might be very, very risky. It might be the wrong play, but we'll see. And we have a mistake on the rear right, which is not the best, but We'll come out in the safety car queue and it looks like we're not the only team to take this gamble so it looks like Co uh Kotka out of octane is actually taking the same gamble as well as two teams in the front so ozu motor team and firebird are also making the same gamble hmm all right, all right, all right. This is going to be very interesting once the safety car comes in because because it's a mix in strategies. This is this is either going to be really, really good or really, really bad. <laughs> and I don't think that there's going to be anyone in the middle. But safety car should be coming in. No, so the safety car is actually pretty far ahead. Nobody, well, the first um, driver is coming around to line up behind the safety car. My only worry is that I overfuel the car.
now something i'm doing is i'm trying to make sure we get a little bit of tire temperature into um or temperature into the tire um the safety car is heading in this lap um so if our tires are too cold we'll actually end up losing time um but we want to make sure our tire temps are at a good place this gamble is going to be very very close it's going to be very very close um it looks like we're not even catching up to the safety car queue actually yeah we are i don't know if marvin's gonna make it but they <laughs> they need to slow the safety car down and so sophia caught up to the safety car queue we're going to start warming her tires up and it looks like it is starting to heavy rain. But I need Marvin to catch up to the safety car queue because the safety car is coming in this lap. And if he doesn't catch up, then that might end up. Nah, he need to catch up to the safety car queue, but it's, the safety car is about to head in and he's not fully caught up. I'm kind of worried about that, but safety car is in and we're back to racing. And Marvin almost caught up to the safety car queue, but it looked like he actually had momentum because he was still trying to catch up. And so he didn't pass anybody, but this is this is where we start to notice our our gamble not being too favorable we are actually starting to drop back in the pack like every other team on full wet tires but come next lap it's gonna be full wet conditions so hopefully we didn't lose too much time on this lap um that the safety car came in and we'll end up gaining it back on laps 30 31 and 32 but because we have excess fuel we're gonna we're going to push as much as we can. Same thing with the tires. Tires are definitely going to the end, but we're losing so much time. And this is where we're going to start to notice the difference in tires. Somebody actually hit to go on the another set of intermediates. So that's one free position. And track conditions are soaked, so it is officially full wet conditions. We have three laps to go. And it looks like we just missed it, but Sophia actually gained a place on that dragon race team and it looked like she had a lot of pace going up into that corner everybody is coming into the pit lane there's no way there's no way hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i need to lock in i need to lock in because i'm actually <laughs> I was actually burning way too much fuel for Marvin. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was actually burning way too much fuel. Hopefully he has enough fuel to make it to the end. Sophia will have enough fuel to make it to the end. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we're going to just I'm gonna put her on neutral. We're gonna monitor this because last lap I do not want to get past. Marvin, he needs to finish the race in like this. He needs to focus on fuel saving. But this is last lap. We need Sophia to finish in front of Kotka, bruh. Because if Sophia finishes in front of Kotka, 
we are going to end up having our first podium. She tried it around the outside. Sophia kept the inside line. Come on, bro. A couple more corners. A couple more corners. Up the inside. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Last turn. Last turn. Marvin ran out of fuel. But Sophia's gonna finish third. Marvin is gonna finish. He's dropping down. But he still finished seventh. He could have finished fifth. He still finished seventh. Look. The number of times that I screwed Marvin over this race, I am surprised he finished seventh. But Sophia, her first race, her first podium, our first podium. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I had a special feeling about Sophia. And look at what that brought us. Look, I'm so proud of my team right now, man. We faced serious disappointment in the first race. We finished 15th and 17th and to turn it around. Granted, the weather was on our side. Our race strategy was on our side. We made a couple of mistakes, but the biggest mistake of them all was every other team pitting onto intermediate tires. And that at the end saved us. That, that my friends, that is how you I was going to say that's how you turn things around. But I'm pretty sure this rule break is on Marvin's car so he drops down from 7th to 9th, but we still keep our podium. But that ladies and gentlemen is how you turn things around. Total of 30 points. Yes. In our first freaking podium. You love to see it. 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 After one race, Sophia is already level on points with Marvin. I believe we are in front of both. Let's see. We are, are we in front of both? We are in front of both Dragon Race Team drivers. And we are in front of both ZRT drivers, which means we are. Oh, we not even eighth. We are seventh in the team's championship standings. And I know Thomas, our chairman, is very, very proud. Hey, man. Hey. You you see what the fans are saying. Hey, look. P3, race two, we absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it, bro. I am so, that is so rewarding. So rewarding. We took a risk. We ended up reaping the reward. You love to see it. Even right here, look, boom, expect the result, eighth. We came in second as a team in total points. That's such a good feeling, such a good feeling. But I'm going to have to end things off on that note, man. Look, at the end of episode three, I was ready to call it quits. But this, look, this is why we do it. This right here is going to be a long journey but it's going to be so rewarding once we end up reaping our time, effort, and energy. So if you like what you see, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, share the video, do whatever it is that you got to do. I appreciate you appreciating the video. But as for me, it's your boy, Miles, and I hope to catch you in the next one.